Welcome back, Mike Allen here. Tonight I'm going to show you what voicemail notification looks like programmed by CCA or Cisco Configuration Assistant 3.0. Now the one thing you want to make sure that you have for fax to be able to work in this, in this method as well, is you want to make sure that you have your system upgraded to Software Pack 8.1.0. Very important, but your system administrator should be able to get you set just straight. Now the thing that you want to do is that you want to also give your system administrator your email address that you want the messages going to. So what I've done on my demo kit is I've actually put my M-I-K-E-A-L-L -L at Cisco.com, my Cisco corporate email address, into the programming in CCA 3.0. So what that means now is that anytime I leave in a, a mail or I'm sorry, a voicemail at extension 201, I'm just going to dial it here from another phone. Thank you for calling the mailbox of Michael Scott. Test, 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 test three, test three, test, test, test. As soon as I hang up the phone, Cisco Unity Express inside the UC540 or 560 is automatically going to send me that message right to my mailbox, as you just saw. Now, when that message arrives, a couple of neat things happen. One, if I click on the message, I can actually see in the message body who that message came from. So you can see I dialed 6201 or the mailbox of 201 from extension 202. It happened at 819 p.m. here on Sunday, December 19th. And I can also see that it, it's a normal message, meaning that uh, it doesn't have like a high priority or it's not an urgent message, anything like that. Now when I choose to double click on the WAV file here, it will actually pop open, and I've chosen for my WAV files to use um, Windows Media Player. It's a little smaller uh, format WAV, so it's not going to take up a whole lot of space, but it's going to load a lot faster than it would in typically iTunes or something else. And test, here goes test, the message. Test three, test three, test, test, test. So now that I've left that message... I can choose whether I want to delete it, if I want to move it around, if I want to forward it to somebody else. But now that it's in my email, I've got the capabilities to pretty much do whatever I'd like. The other thing I'll show you real quick is I also sent myself a fax a few seconds ago. So in an effort in time, or for time, I'll, um, I'll not uh, go through that process again. But what I will do is show you again where it came from. Now, since I've got two lines here at the house, I actually faxed this from my fax line at home to my UC500 demo kit on my main home line. So my fax number is 530-743-7041. It displayed for me the caller ID from an outside caller. So very important, very key. That's a, that's a really useful feature. The other thing that it's done is instead of being a WAV file format, it's actually sent it to me in a taggable image format or a TIFF file. So once I open this file, what's going to happen is just Windows Media Player here is going to open this thing up for me and show me what the fax was that I sent. So that's exactly what I sent, just a little one-page fax. If I wanted to send myself multiple pages, um, it would still only come as one attachment. I know that's going to be the first question a lot of people are going to ask. All I would have to do then is just come down here and just click on Next Photo so it would let me play page 2, page 3, page 4, and so forth. But uh, this has been, uh, thanks for your time tonight, this has been voicemail or fax notification programmed by a Cisco Configuration Assistant 3.0.